Hey Tractor Chasers, in today's video we are out in the field with Stein Farms working on finishing up their fourth cutting of hay. We'll see the entire process from mowing the hay, merging it, chopping it, and packing it into the silage bunk. We'll also get up in the cab with Jared and the chopper to learn about how harvest is going for them. For the first step of mowing the hay, the farm comes in with their Optum 300 tractor equipped with Crone 32-foot triple mowers. This Case IH Optum tractor is ideally suited for this job because it has 313 horsepower, which gives it plenty of power, and it has a smaller frame, which makes it more maneuverable in the field. This setup makes quick work of mowing all this alfalfa. Once all the hay is mowed, it needs to be merged into windrows so that the chopper can come through and chop it efficiently. To merge the hay, the farm is running a Case IH 9330 four-wheel drive tractor and an Oxbow 2340 hay merger. This merger merges 40 feet of hay into one windrow. They put two passes together so 80 feet of hay will be chopped at once with the chopper. This makes it much more efficient to use the chopper on these heavier windrows instead of having small windrows where they'd have to drive up and down the field a lot of times.
once the hay is gathered into windrows, they come through with the Claws 960 chopper to chop all this hay up for cow feed.
The last step of the process is to pack all of this feed into the bunk for storage. To do this, they use a Case IH 9370 tractor with a silage blade, pushing it and packing it into the silage bunk. I hope you loved being out in the field with Stein Farms in western New York working on finishing up their fourth cutting of hay. If you love seeing tractors like this at work, please take a minute to subscribe to the Tractor Chasers channel so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.